best thing is uh, that you can use the channel you can use or asset you can use is partners. So in partners, uh, uh, what I, I love to say is use OPC, other people's customers. Because if you don't have enough customers, there are other people, you know, or partners who have customers that you can reach out to. So here's some tactics for doing that. You can create a free account within a, with an uh, organization called Haro, which is help a reporter out. So reporters are always looking for story ideas, right? So what you can do is you can actually sign up with this and say, hey, I have expertise in cloud or I have expertise in, you know, e-learning or I have expertise in or cryptocurrency. So the reporters who are looking for stories will reach out to you and that gives free publicity to your startup. So make sure you list yourself on, on, on this site. Write a, a guest blog post. Let's say you're not getting a lot of traffic on your website, but there's a partner website and you can write a blog post. By the way, I do this on Forbes magazine. So Forbes uh, has a way that they allow guests to write for them. So I actually have a contributor status on Forbes magazine, and I regularly write blog posts on the on on on, on Forbes that that uh, allows me to leverage the audience that they have, and their audience is bigger than the audience that I have. Get invited to speak at an industry event. An industry event is a you know particularly if you're a B2B startup, business to business startup. There are a lot of people who come to the industry events. It's a great place to meet at trade shows or industry events. Uh, find out if you can contribute an article uh, to an industry magazine that people within your you know, audience read. Uh, and if you can't get to write guest blog posts, go comment on blog posts on other websites. You know, Add your input, add your expertise. Go on Quora and comment on stuff. Post on Quora. Join Facebook, join LinkedIn, join other groups. Uh, in within your industry to offer your advice and information. So the point I'm making overall here is that look at the constituencies then and partners who have access to your customers. And what you want to do is to embed yourself into those commun those partner communities by offering something of value. And offering something of value in this case may be a you know content of some sort, right? Which is your expertise, your advice, a blog post, or so on. So this way you are able to amplify your reach through your partner's customers that you don't have access to. And by the way, all this, you can see, all this is completely free.